All right, Magic the Gathering fans, so this is Daniel Chang with Graded Magic Cards, and thank you again for watching our YouTube channel. Uh, please hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel if you want to hear the latest news about Graded Magic Cards or the hottest trends in vintage Magic Cards. So today's segment is a very special one, and I parted my uh, position kneeling down, but I'm actually going to be standing up here. So we are actually going to be reviewing and I don't know if you guys can see this. This is an original form black border uh, starter deck from the, uh, the French edition. It's, the, it's called the Limited Edition. Um, it's WOC 20,000 on the bottom. So basically it's the version of revised um, or beta they call it for um, uh, the starter deck. So it has all the cards are revised, basically the dual lands, but they're all black border instead of white border. That's in the English edition. So what we're going to do today is we're actually going to open uh, one of the starter decks to kind of see uh, what the cards look like and all that. So um, as you know, um, these decks were um, printed in like German, Italian, and French. Those are the core languages. And when, by the way, how to open this starter deck, I usually use a scissor at first, make a slight snip, and then I just go ahead and um, take the top off first. Now, I also carry um, these card saver ones um, that we talked about before in other segments um, for grading purposes. So, here's the card saver one. Um, it's nice to put into cards so here's a magic card here this is actually by the way the white border version of the French and um, it is um, the same 19 on the bottom it says 1995 but um, the the black border will say 1994 that's something to note so um, here's a starter deck it's kind of mangled up the box it is but it's very very rare these are very valuable because there are the dual lands um, potential in here. So, again, you have the potential to get the Underground Sea, Volcanic Island, Tropical Island, Tundra, Savannah, Bayou, and Badlands, etc. And also, you get, you know, the Vesuvian Doppelganger, the Fork, Wrath of God. So, there's some other rares, key rares in there, too. Um, so, just like an in your starter deck, it's sealed very tightly. This is obviously, I don't know, see the bottom is a 1994. Island, and so we're going to open the starter deck. And what I do is I take this smaller razor and I cut, if you guys can see this, the book. I slightly pierce the book, and we're talking about a very slight. So it's almost like you're flipping a page in a book. At that point, it's already loose, and then it's a very nice and easy pull over like that. Okay? So the beginning, I, I, I'll show you the cards that we have here, and I'll try to be very, very, um, um, you know, clear on what we get here. So, this is a, um, an island. So, I believe the beginning is the uncommon. So, this is the ill, which is island for French. I'll probably pronounce that wrong for our French customers. This is the living wall, which is um, a different name. This is an uncommon. This is the forgot how to say it in English, but it's the Orma Copter, but it's the uh, French version. And so this one was actually, I believe, in Antiquities also. This one is the Life Tap, which we sold the painting um, and uh, before, and that's an uncommon. This is the Burr Ring, which is Mark Poole's unfavorite card, by the way, which is um, an uncommon. The next one is the Wall of Stone, which is an uncommon. And next one is the Swords of Plowshares, which actually is a very, really good, a really quality card for gameplay. And this is a French version, Black Border. Now they call it FBB, by the way, Foreign Black Border Edition, because the cards are Black Border. So, um, that might be a, when you search on eBay or any other major site, 
you may want to search for that if you're not finding um, the cards. Now, something to note for the box, FYI, in the front here, it says L'Assemblée, which is the gathering in French. But on the bottom, you notice that there's no, there's a thing called unlimited. So if that bottom part said unlimited or another word behind it, like um, that basically means that it's the white border version. That's how you can tell it's the white border. And also the year it was printed. So on the bottom here, on the side, it says 1994. Um, if it says 95, you know you probably have a, f a white border, if it says unlimited, or a fourth edition box, which would be, which would not say unlimited. Next one here is the Death Grip. We sold this painting also, the original. The Iron Star. And I believe we're coming to the rares here soon. There's another Plains, and this is a uh, common, but it may have been an uncommon slot. You get that sometimes with these starter decks. Uh, foreign black border cards are very popular because they are not only just, um, you know, they're highly collectible, but they're a nice, uh, they're, I think they were more limited, obviously, than revised because they were distributed to only regional areas in the world. So um, these are actually priced um, heavily, and the value of them are much higher some cases in the revised. This is just a regular swamp. And then you have the mountain. And I believe after the book, we have the rares. So then you have the book. Um, and this is a foreign black border book. And i um, show you the book. This is how it looks like. La Assembly. So this is uh, the same as a revised book, basically, but it's in French. So, okay. And then the rares are, well, I see one of them. This is, let's see if we get a dual land out of this. That's the prize. Is a Neverill's Disc. Okay, that's a cool card. And then, oh, and we got a Millstone, which is a rare, which I believe is in the Antiquity set, which is not really a highly priced card, but they put it as a rare in the revised. And then we have three rares for the set, and we got... The prize Shivan Dragon, which is not very valuable in the world of um, the game anymore, but it's highly iconic. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, the key element, obviously, was to receive the dual lands. You, we're talking like an underground sea. You would go for about three to five hundred dollars, depending on condition. We've sold uh, a BGS nine before, around eight hundred dollars in mint condition. So. Depending on the value of the condition, that's what matters. And then here's some commons. We have wild growth, um, a jump, and let's see if we have anything else here. Red elemental blast, power leak, dark ritual, and nothing. A land war elves, giant growth. Yeah. So that's basically it for the, the starter deck. And you get 60 cards for the starter deck. Um, which is really cool um, if you're beginning your gameplay. So here again, I'll show you an example. This is the white border foreign cards. I believe this is French. And this is, actually no, this is uh, English, okay. But if it was French, or if it was foreign edition, it would be a different name on the title and also the text. And this is the black border. And they look very similar, so be very clear, it's, you know, you'll know. Um, but the biggest difference is what I said earlier about the box. So if you're online shopping, you're collecting, you're confused on what you have, go and look at this box and you will know the difference. All right? So thanks again for watching our YouTube channel. Um, I appreciate your business and it is closing to the holidays. It's about uh, about 13 days till Christmas. So it's, a tw it's actually December 12th. Uh, and then... 2012, so that's kind of cool. Um, but if you have any questions, find me at uh, www.gradedmagiccards.com or email me at daniel at gradedmagiccards.com. We have graded foreign black border cards and some white border. Um, we also have these in artist proofs also. So if you have any collecting needs, just contact me and we'll be happy to help. And look forward to our uh, new website coming out in 2013. Um, we will have an exciting online price guide, collection manager, uh, gallery, lots of 
goodies for you guys. And make sure you sign up so you can get all those uh, gifts that we're going to be giving to clients. All right. Have a nice day. Thanks.